Hi beauties, welcome back to my channel. Victoria Lee here and I am back with another video. As you can see, this is a little bit more holiday inspired because I am reviewing the December Ipsy Glam Bag and Glam Bag Plus. I haven't made a video in a while and I'm really excited to get back into it. So if you wanna see how I got this look using all the new products in those two Ipsy boxes, then keep on watching. So my video last time, I mentioned that my mom gets her own Ipsy Glam Bag now haven't opened it yet and I received the glam bag plus so what I'm going to do is open both of them kind of compare them see what we got going on here and then test them all out let's start with the glam bag in my mom's bag she got this cute little makeup bag I'm sure everybody knows by this point that ipsy always gives a cute makeup bag and the ones in the glam bag are slightly smaller just like the products that are given in the bag so let's open it up and see what she got so she got this estate liquid felt tip liner hopefully we can test this out she got this oh boy guys may maybe eyeshadow and it looks like this like a purpley moment she got this nice flat contouring brush this little sand it looks like a sample size of the professional pearl primer I like these primers actually like I've used the other one before like the green one and I like them I know that people have mixed motions and then she got the superhero elastic strength volumizing mascara by it cosmetics I know she loves this so she's probably so excited now it's not the full size because she gets the glam bag but it's a good little size and it'll probably last her a while so those are her items that she got now I just want to quickly go over mine because I don't want to bore anybody by showing the products without using them. So let's start off. This is my bag this month. That little Sherpa texture. It's so soft and so festive for December and the holiday season. I like how for both bags, it's like that like Sherpa soft texture. It's like really cute and cozy in my opinion. My shirt's like that Sherpa texture. I got this Mood Moods by Laura Sanchez. And I think it's an eyeshadow palette. We'll open it up when it's time to do the eyes. Got this Nomad, and I've got a Nomad eyeshadow palette before and I liked it. Um, Nomad X Tosca, called Toscana. This is also another palette, and on the back it says it's inspired by Tuscany, Italy, which I love. I'm Italian, so that's really cute. Um, I got this Ofra highlighter. Some of these are add-ons too. I believe this one is an add-on. This is Blissful, $3 add-on, this Ofra highlighter. I got this Confidence in My Glow highlighter. I think this is an add-on as well. Packaging's really cute and like marble. I like that. Got this eyeliner by Wander Beauty. I really like Wander Beauty. I didn't know about them until I started my Ipsy um, journey so this is a black eyeliner it looks like it would be in like maroon but interestingly it says it's in black and it's not liquid it says jet jet black pencil eyeliner so maybe we'll try that out i got this overtime contour and blush duo multitasking on the go it says so this is awesome and this little add-on right here which is hanale lip treatment and it's in clear and i'm gonna put something this on right now because my lips are so dry. I don't know about anybody else, but in the winter, my lips start to crack. They get gross. They get so dry. And something that I keep doing is forgetting I have my chapstick in my pockets and washing them. So my chapsticks have been disappearing and ruining all my clothes. But now I have this little guy and hopefully I won't do the same with that. Oh, uh, another product that I got, the last one that was actually my bag that I didn't add on, was this R Plus CO. Um, it says centerpiece all-in-one elixir spray. So funny about this is I've been seeing this hair brand everywhere. This is like for your hair. You put it on your hair is damp. And I did my hair right before this video, literally 15 minutes ago. I sprayed it this all over my hair and it was damp. And I feel like it did help style my hair. This is supposed to be sprayed in your hair and help you style it. And I just used the Revlon brush and kind of like twisted it and curled it. And I feel like it did a nice job and it smelled really good too. So I really liked this. I've been seeing it everywhere, so I was really excited when I got to pick this for my bag this month. Enough of me talking. Let's put these products to use. All right, so I think we're going to start with the eyes today. I primed my eyes, and I'm ready to go. So I got two eyeshadows, so I kind of have my options here. So let's look at this first one, which is Moods by Laura Sanchez. I haven't opened them yet. I believe this one is really colorful. These are the colors. Definitely an interesting color story here. We got some 
yellow, purple, blue, green. These are all shimmers on the top. These are all mattes. And then what I believe is probably a highlighter and then another highlighter, which is extremely light. Let's just swatch that right now. Okay. It's more like a, it's an iridescent kind of highlight, which it either works for you or it doesn't. It also comes with this little brush in there, which I probably wouldn't use also, but it's cute, especially for someone who is just beginning in makeup and may not have that many makeup products. I think it's cute that it comes with a little brush. The Nomad X Toscana palette looks like this. This is way more my speed. It's a really pretty neutrals, of course. The pan size is humongous. And I really like the look of it. I like that they're pressed and they have, oh my gosh, they're, this is so cute. These are like little Vespas pressed on them. It's based off of Tuscany, Italy. They like pressed little Vespas into them. So what I'm gonna do, and I always, always do this in all of my videos, you'll see that I do this, is take a natural color shade for myself and put it all over the lid. So here I'm gonna take Fiora di Latte. They're all in Italian, the shade names. Now I'm like really excited about this palette um little fallout and i'm just gonna pack that on the lid nothing precise here literally packing it on to create a base just to make sure that those eyeshadows are gonna go on really smooth and blend nicely but then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go in with this shade right here called cantucci and i am going to kind of put that into the corners of my eye and in the crease. I'm gonna be looking over here a lot just because I record these videos on my phone. Looking into my phone screen is a little bit challenging sometimes because there's not that much to look at. Oh, I wanna go in with that shade right here called Tartufo and it's a nice, a very cool tone shade. And, oh, this has a mirror. Let me just use the mirror here. And I'm gonna kind of put it right where I put that other one. Just not as much into the crease. This is tartufo. What does that mean? That's ice cream. What does tartufo mean? In Italian, tartufo is tartufo. But what does it mean? Tartufo. So I'm just gonna continue darkening this up. Okay, so after the tartufo shade, I think I'm going to use this shade right here. It's called Vino Nobili. And I am going to Take a brush and take that fallout out and kind of just put it over again, but more onto the eye this time, like more on to the lid. Let's just do something crazy. Go in with this palette right here, the moods, and it's the holiday season. So should we go in with the shimmery green? It could ruin it. It could definitely ruin it. This is what the green looks like. We're pigmented. So I think we're just going to do it. And both palettes have mirrors. Love. And I'm just going to put it right in the corner. Spray it. Maybe it'll come out better when it's like wet. Angling it. Definitely more vibrant now. It looks pretty cool. It's like green on the lid. And then I put some of that iridescent shade like right there in there. And I think I'm gonna even add like some of this too. Just something to give it more of like a little bit pop or like glittery something. Now in my mom's box, she did get the Estate um, liquid liner. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm just gonna look in my mirror over here and I'm gonna put some on. So I popped some eyeliner on with this estate. I liked it. It was okay. It was a little bit tricky to use because it wasn't really like bendable. So I had to pull my eye, which I don't really like to do. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my face makeup and I'm going to come back so we can try the rest of the product. So I'm back. And what I did was my foundation, my concealer, and some powder. Well, I want to stop there because what I have is this. Overtime contour and blush duo, and I'm hoping it's gonna bring me back to life because I'm looking a little yellow at the moment. Cute, full size, big pan. So I'm gonna use this as my bronzer today, and I'm gonna use that as my blush. So the bronzer shade is called Power Play, and the blush is called Pink Slip. Shall I try this contour brush? Why not? I'm gonna try this flat contour brush. I don't know, I feel like it's supposed to be used as cream, but maybe we can like outline it with the powder and then buff it in with powder. So I'm just gonna take some of that. Might be a little warm. 
and putting a line down just for some contouring. It does do a nice line. With this brush, I'm gonna just buff it out. Honestly and truthfully, I don't love it, but I really don't hate it either. So let's move on to the blush, which is this little pinky shade right here. All these components so far today have been like super nice. They all have a mirror, they're all like heavy. Let's see how this pinky shade goes on. That's pretty. I liked the blush shade. I thought the blush shade was really pretty and nice and I like the color. It's a color that I would use. I would probably use this again and there was no fallout which I really liked about that. Moving on we have a couple of highlighter options. I got this Ofra Cosmetics highlighter in blissful i don't believe i've used this in my channel before but it looks really nice champagne -y. beautiful definitely using this and then i got confidence in my glow by a brand that i'm not familiar with called real her if you guys hear some extra noise today um we had a really huge storm last night in new york and there is snow plowing shoveling everything going on outside so if you hear any of that i apologize but that's what's going on all day today and i had a snow day from work so i thought let's not waste it and let's record a video so this is the highlighter um yeah it also looks super pretty those are them next to each other they actually look pretty similar so i'm going to use one on this side and one on that side with my fluffy brush on my left side i will use this ofra in blissful and just put some right here. That's really nice. Wow, that's really pretty and came up a lot more than I thought. Is this my new favorite highlighter? Maybe. And on this side, I'm gonna use this Real Her Confidence in My Glow and see how that comes off. So again, really pretty and nice. Not as vibrant as the Ofra one, but it's buildable for sure. You can definitely build it up to your desire. Let's put this one on the nose. So I'm looking at the rest of the products that I have here. And one other thing that I have that I haven't used is this Wander Beauty Black Eyeliner. And I was thinking we already put eyeliner on the top, obviously. But what if I put a little bit on the bottom? Not a lot, I usually don't, but just a little bit in the corners just so I can say I tried it and gave my review on it. So I'm just gonna put some right here. Very little bit. Oh, that's pigmented. Way more pigmented than I thought and I'm so not used to using like a black liner. Let me show you how creamy this is, ready? That's like intense. That's a good black eyeliner. So I just smoked it out a little and I kind of like how that looks too. Now what I want to do is just go back in with that palette, the Tuscany palette, and go in with that Tartufo shade and just put a little tiny bit into my lower lash. Can't forget this step. This is like what pulls my makeup looks together in my opinion it just makes everything look so cohesive and nice now i think what's left is mascara and my mom got the superhero mascara in her bag so we will use that i have used this before i like it but it gets a little bit clumpy for me i actually really liked this i feel like it kind of tied my eye look together and kind of just made it look nicer so a plus for this one of my favorite things that i've used honestly all day today i'm just gonna add a little bit more of this lippy the little clear gloss that i got which is really like a lip treatment just because i didn't get any lip products this month and then we can go on to my final thoughts all right so my final thoughts about this december bag is that it was okay it was really cute i really liked the little bags that actually came with it that was probably my favorite part as for the products, I thought the products were okay. There wasn't really anything that I loved. I said I really liked this mascara. It didn't come in my box, but it came in my mom's box. I thought it performed really nicely. I can see that my eyelashes are full and lengthened. Um, the eyeshadow palettes didn't impress me as much as I thought they would, unfortunately. I like the Tuscany theme, and I like 
the idea, but I'm not really loving the shadows. Um, but I definitely will give it another try like I do with all of the products that I used. The highlighters were nice. Um, the bronzer and the blush were okay. So I thought that the this month was okay. I wouldn't say that I would put it on my favorites list for one of my favorite Ipsy boxes I've ever gotten, but I had so much fun trying it out as I always do. This pretty much concludes the video. I really wanna try to start uploading more. I'm thinking about doing a video after the holidays about all the holiday makeup that I got this season and testing it all out and coming up with a really fun look. So look out for that next. And I'll continue doing the Ipsy reviews, but I'd love to do other different things. So like always, please, if you have any ideas, comment below. I would love to try them all out. Any ideas are helpful. Sometimes I don't really know what people wanna see. So. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Have a healthy and happy, safe holiday season, and I will see you next time. Bye.